Okay. Now, now there's a third step. What if we have just understood how to measure, how to take care of our, how to find out our health score. Based on that, we also understand what are the reasons for the lifestyle disorders. And then the third step is how do we conduct our life from morning to evening. So, we will just see this. Yeah, every human is unique. That means what? Their age is different, male, female, genes, BMI, so many variants are there. So understand, check your health score and choose right diet plan. A lot of people jump into the wagon saying that I follow this diet, that diet. Many times people get into trouble. So it's necessary that you need to know where is your stuff. Something like it, you know, you're going to a ready-made shop. If the dress is not, uh, if you are not able to fix it, you buy the cloth and get it done by the tailor. Similarly, depends on your health score, you must choose your diet. Now, what are the important things? Number one, every day you must drink four liters water. Two bowel movement. Two times you should be able to excrete and remove the waste from your body by way of stools. One hour brisk walk. Stress management. Seven hours night sleep. It's avoidance of processed food stimulants, etc. Eat only twice when hungry and maintain the same timing. Nothing in between two meals except water. And then uh, overnight fasting, 16 hours fasting would be help for that. And fortnightly fasting is important. So what do we do, friends? How do we go about incorporating these things in your day-to-day -day life? So immediately after waking up in the morning, you drink one liter water. And focus your mind and your stomach. Don't engage in any other activity. The object is only to go to the toilet. Once it becomes urgent, you go to the toilet. Suppose during that time, if you are engaging in seeing your uh, mobile or WhatsApp or talking to somebody, you will not be able to go to the toilet. So it's necessary. The first step, the foremost step is that drinking one liter water, focusing on the stomach and go to the first bowl. After that, you can go for a one hour brisk walk, come back home, rest for five, ten minutes, again drink one liter water. Focus your mind on your stomach, you'll be able to go to the second bowel movement. You'll be surprised to see how much of waste you have been accumulating. Now, once that is done, you can have your first meal when hungry, preferably around 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. So what do you what to eat? You can eat any homemade food. Remember, friends, don't use refined oil. Refined oils will uh, develop uh, insulin resistance. Whatever homemade food you can eat, you enjoy your food, you make one or two sabdis, have roti, have curds, anything you want, you can enjoy. Remember, drinking water, there is a process. You should not drink water and sit for food. If you drink water, don't sit for food for at least half an hour. While eating, don't drink water. You must wait at least two hours after drinking, after eating the food. So, what you should do, suppose you are feeling this discomfort, you can have one or two gulps of water, but don't polish up glass after glass. Now, once you finish your first meal after two hours, until evening, until the second meal. Say you are deciding to have your second meal at 8 p.m. Until 7.30, you try and finish two liters water in installment. Keep always water in the bottle so that you know how much of water you are drinking. Now, second time also you can have the same meal. If somebody is interested, how they can do? They can have the second meal, uncooked meal. We just now talked about nutritional deficiency. If you eat this fresh, uncooked food like sprouts and seasonal fruits, nuts and then uh, cashew nut and uh, coconut dates all this will improve your nutrition if somebody is more interested they can have a vegetable juice this taking vegetable juice makes three times eating but doesn't matter depends on the health score one can have vegetable juice around 10 30 11 o'clock first meal around 12 31 second meal around after six seven o'clock eight o'clock so you see your convenience the primary driving fact driving the criteria is your hunger. We don't eat food because the breakfast time, lunch time and all that. Now, if somebody is diabetic, what to do? Because diabetic is happening because of multiple times eating, high insulin, high sugar, and that's how they're insulin resistant. They can have no-carb food. What is no-carb food? There's absolutely no roti, or no chapati, no millets or anything of that nature. You have some eggs. If it's non-vegetarian, it's good. If it's a vegetarian, you have some soaked nuts and all that. You have paneer fry, Sabdis made out of uh, you know, cold pressed oil, have coconut, chitney, nuts, and uh, vegetables, and all that, salads, and all that. And you always can check your uh, blood sugar before eating food and check after two hours. Take your medication. 
see how it is the trend what food is not which food is not increasing or pp sugar is very important once you follow this friends what will happen you are improving your insulin sensitivity you are improving your gut health and also you are taking your d and b vitamin levels you are improving with this you are going to improve your insulin sensitivity what is insulin sensitivity insulin sensitivity means your fasting insulin is 3 to 6 fasting blood glucose below 99 mg per deciliter your a1c is below 5.6% if you have these three simple parameters these three parameter blood test will cost you maybe 1000 rupees with 1000 rupees you can find out whether you are healthy or not then with that uh, the insulin resistance will be below 1.5 look at the other other spectrum of it a person has got insulin above 7 fasting sugar above 100 a1c above 5.7 means they are unhealthy they are bound to be overweight having a belly fat blood pressure sugar various other health problems will be there and they will be on medication our goal is to become insulin sensitive improve gut health and improve d and b12 vitamin this is all what i want to tell you friends thank you very much for listening i appreciate your time and during this teachers uh, uh, day you spared your time i am thankful to dr archana madam thank you very much ma'am thank you thank you very much sir it was really amazing session and uh, i think uh, so many dietitians were there and along with the, some of the teachers were there and they must be feeling very good and we will share it if uh, we are able to record it and otherwise uh, questions are always welcome uh, on our website as well as they can mail us and we will continue with the more of the steps as we have so many things to tell us and because of the time constraint we are unable to do it definitely we'll do it uh, later on sir thank you thank you very much for giving us time as you have have another meeting uh, we will uh, definitely join it again sir thank you very so much ma'am all the time whenever you give us time certainly no no thank you. whenever you ask i can you listen to me i request anybody who has health problem they can get in touch with me they can get the blood reports i am willing to help them hand hold them for a while i can i can tell you in our group hundreds of people have benefited i have no other activity rather than helping people it's all free of cost i want people to learn and teach others also thank you very much for uh, your time ma'am thank you very much i appreciate it. my my pleasure pleasure Bye-bye. is all mine sir thank you very much and uh, we keep on connecting something like that and thank you very much sir certainly bye bye